Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn some basic important Excel formulas. Let's get started. Great. First of all, let's understand what is Excel. Microsoft Excel is a powerful spreadsheet application used for data analysis, calculations and visualization. We can use Excel to create formulas, charts and pivot tables. Also, we can use Excel for various data formats and functions for complex statistical, financial and logical operations. Excel used in business, finance, engineering and education for data management and reporting purpose. This is the blank spreadsheet. A cell in Excel is the intersection of rows and columns identified by a unique address for each cell. Here you can see cell name for each cell. If I select L4, you can see cell reference number here. This is the name for each cell. Rows are in horizontal format and columns are in vertical format. Rows and columns can be adjusted. Just select entire cell or range of cell. Just drag and drop or you can select column right click adjust from column width to change rows just select row and go to row height and change format size okay let's begin with some formula now i'm going to delete this sheet okay some formula used to add a range of numbers to get its total value for example we have lost six months sales data for five employees to get total value of each employee, we can use some formula to get total. Basically, we can type formula directly from the cell like this or just go to formulas tab. Here you can see a lot of formulas under each section. Just select auto sum, sum to get total value or just erase that equal to sum open bracket. Just select range of data to get total of each employee. So this employee achieved total value of 799 for last six months. To calculate for remaining employees, so we need not use the same formula manually to get value. Just go to this value, drag and drop. To get total for column wise, again just press equal to sum, select range for month wise. Just drag and drop to get average sales for each employee we can use average formula average open bracket select for last six months enter this gives overall sales divided by number of months just drag and drop next one is count formula Count formula used to get number of cells in a range that contains numbers. Let's use this formula to count how many cells in this row contains numbers. Just equal to count open bracket. Select from B4 till K4. Enter. Now we are getting eight as count because first two cells contains text and this won't be considered as numbers just drag and drop if i update any numbers here this number will get counted okay let me redo it okay next one is percentage to get sales percentage of each employees we can use percentage equal to sales of one employee divided by overall sales enter to get percentage value just press percentage if you like to add any decimal, just press this decimal symbol to get decimal added. Just drag and drop. We are getting some error value for remaining employees because whenever we copy and paste this value to next cell, cell reference will be changed. So here you can see J4 divided by J9. In next cell, you can see J5 but J10. Just press F2 to get value of the reference. So in this scenario, we are going to calculate sales for second employee 
but overall total is not selected it's going to the next cell to lock this cell use function 4 to lock the cell just drag and drop to get value for each employee now here we have locked j9 as fixed and constant value for each cell okay next move on to the length formula equal to length open bracket select text to get number of length drag and drop so in this cell you can find five characters b6 has eight characters if i change any value this will get changed now we have three characters okay let's move on to the next one write formula to get specified number of characters from right hand side just use write formula type write open bracket select any one of the text to get number of characters there are two arguments first one is mandatory and second one is optional which indicates two brackets start number is a number of position from where it should start to count so i am going to give one so value is considered from the right hand side from starting position of one if i update it to so we will get last two value from the text in the same method we can use left formula to get value from left hand side so just left open bracket select text and number of position this time i'm going to use three to get okay next one is concatenate formula to combine two or more cells we have first name and last name let's combine first name and last name with space equal to concatenate open bracket first name comma quotes space and quotes comma and second name so this gives a space in between two names just drag and drop that's all and next one is if condition let's see whether each employee reached a thousand sales or not so just go to target if open bracket total sales of one employee greater than or equal to thousand if yes return achieve if not not achieved okay two employees achieved sales target remaining three are not achieved so in this method we can use basic formulas to do calculations in excel thanks for watching the video